It's student made, student created. It's really uh, the origin behind it is there was this group of students who basically said, we should do this. They did all the research themselves. They got funding from different places themselves and they made this happen. So a lot of Brooklyn Tech is go and do it yourself, advocate for yourself. Because if you do, things will take you places. Like having this and then the environmental science majors also do research on this and it's really cool and they upkeep it. So obviously you can't go into the lab right now, but what's in there, there's a pet snake, which I think is pretty cool. A pet snake named Flair. It has an Instagram account. You can find it if you Brooklyn want to. Brooklyn Tech has its own snake. That's definitely worth knowing. I'll be going in that and, direction. And then there's also fish and a bunch of other stuff. And it's just one of the really cool major rooms. Normally the plants are up on the wall, but this is like one of the coolest places in the school. It's really beautiful. Definitely where I want to go. And at the end you may say, I hate engineering. I want to be a lawyer. And you've gotten, you know, to, to figure that out without spending a tuition, you know, that we wait there. College, so coming into Brooklyn Tech, I knew like this would be a big stepping stone for there, and I was able to try out majors and make friends for the last six years, like Josh. And I think all my lifelong friends in Brooklyn Tech, and to prepare for the test is based on knowing that this is not really that only comes once. So the classes that you're taking first year in college compared to 11th and 12th grade in Brooklyn Tech, how are we doing? I'm not going to lie, I think the classes at Tech 11th and 12th grade were very complicated the first year. In some cases, they were even more difficult than the very first year. So some of your 11th grade classes were? More difficult than the freshman year class in college. How about you? Yeah, one class I took here uh, in this room as well was um, computer-aided design and drafting, and that's a, a class I took in college my first semester. So I kind of had a, an advantage in that I already took the class, um, had access to all this amazing equipment, thousands and thousands of dollars. I don't think we have equipment like this at my college, so it's, it's, it's really outstanding the uh, opportunities that are here. How long was your commute? Um, so it was about an hour. I took the railroad. And an I hour each way? Yeah. Per day? Yeah. Two hours, ready? Was it worth the trip? I think it was worth it, for sure. Ooh, how about you? I'm in Benson here, so it's about 30 minutes each way. An hour total? Yeah. What time did you start in the morning? Uh, it depends on different years. The best year was when I had the 9.30 start, yeah. but <laughs> the, the 8.30 was also brutal. Um, but around that time, 8.30 to 9. Yeah, same thing. I started freshman year about 8 o'clock, and then by junior year, senior year, you start a little later. 
want to think about what, do, what, what things you do maximize opportunities for you. So, maximize so opportunities, ready? Any advice for parents figuring out which high schools to apply to? I mean, this is the thing. Do your research, go to the schools, talk to people, see what it feels like. Talk to kids. Yeah, it's talk to kids things. and have your kids talk to kids. Where does your son go to school now? Cornell. Where do you go for SHSAT? Well, prep. High school prep? Well, prep. Where's your whole family stuck at? Well, prep. Okay, um, kidding aside, I just want to remind all of you, um, and Josh, I'll put you here. I just want to remind all of you I'm a child of immigrants, and these moments warm my heart because I did not have any of these opportunities. I grew up in this little tiny apartment in Queens, and over the years, I'm very thankful for what I was able to produce and what I'm able to give back to. It is because of my education that I'm able to be here, that I'm able to speak so comfortably, that I'm able to communicate and the fact that I have high self-esteem comes from the knowledge that I have a great education. So that's really my biggest tool. It's not money, it's not anything. There's really nothing I can tell you because the knowledge I have from my education is what carries me and continues to carry me in every single aspect of my life. What's your name? Uh, my name is Gadeen. Ready? Uh, ready? How old are you? I'm 16. I'm 16! Round of applause! He's 16! <laughs> Leading the tour of the robotics department at Brooklyn Tech. Ready? So, uh, I'm taking a moment. Where did you prepare for the SHSAT? Queller. Queller! <laughs> okay, that's the last, that's the only big plug, okay? And can you tell us what you do here? Yeah, so I'm currently a sophomore at Brooklyn Tech. Um, last year was the year I tried out for the Brooklyn Tech Robotics team. Um, I'm currently a mathematics major at Brooklyn Tech, so starting my uh, junior year and senior year, I'll be taking courses related to math. But there's also a mechatronics major at Brooklyn Tech. Um, on behalf of the robotics team, I do a lot of mechanical engineering and designing and manufacturing and all this, all these sorts of things. 16 years old! Um, and so, starting the first Saturday of January, we're kind of like all working together. Um, we're given a task by this game, and they basically tell us what to do with an animation and like a 200 page game manual. So we kind of sit down for a couple of hours, we kind of break down what it's asking us to do, and we kind of get right into it. We start designing stuff, we start catting things, making 3D models of it, prototyping things, and then eventually putting it back together, which we'll get to over there on that kind of side of the shop. Parents really do get involved here. On behalf 